If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to answer the question on your own before listening on. We know that a potential difference, or delta V, can be written in terms of electrical potential energy in the following manner. We have the change in electric potential energy divided by the charge. Now we know that delta V can be expanded as V final minus V initial. Now we also know that the change in electric potential energy is equal to the negative value of whatever the work done by the electric field is. So we're going to substitute negative W in for delta U. Also, for the charge Q, since we're moving an electron, we can substitute in the value for the charge on an electron, which turns out to be negative E. And E is the elementary charge that's equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs. Now, of course, we have a negative divided by a negative, so those will cancel. And then finally, we also note that this charge is moving from A to B. So A would serve as the initial point, and then B would serve as the final point. So rather than writing VF and VI, we can actually replace those with VB and VA. And that's kind of convenient because part A is asking us for the value of VB minus VA. So all we have to do is take the work done by the electric field, which was given to us in the question, and then divide by E, which again is that 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. And when we process that, we get approximately 2.46. And you can write the unit as joules per coulomb, or you can simplify that unit to just volts. So this would be the correct answer to part A. We can now move on to part B, which asks for the potential difference VC minus VA. And if we go back to the diagram, what we'll notice is that point B and point C lie on the same equipotential line. That means that the potential at B is going to be the same as the potential of C. So really, when they write VC in this equation, we can actually think of that also as VB minus VA. In other words, this value is the same as this value, again, because point C and point B are on the same equipotential line, making their potentials the same. But we already figured out VB minus VA. That was 2.46 volts. So that means that VC minus VA is also 2.46 volts. So no additional calculation is required. And finally, on to part C, which is asking for the potential difference VC minus VB. Recall again that because point C was on the same equipotential line as point B, we can replace VC with VB. But of course, VB minus VB is simply equal to zero volts. And so this is the correct answer to part C. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click the thumbs up and subscribe so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Remember that you can send in your own question to the email address on the screen and I'll do my best to post the answer to it on